Last time on The Lazy Geckos. We sat down with you and shared our first couple experiences that we had on the boat. We talked about projects that we recently completed along with our upcoming projects. We also shared with you guys many ideas that we have in making our sailboat ours. But most importantly, we took you on our very first sail. I'm getting up there. I still got some time. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. I'll wave your diapers or your butt. Oh, thanks, baby. I'll change your diapers. I really did. Would you wipe my butt? Yeah. I mean, really? Do you remember when you got an accident? Oh, man. You know, like three days, Brynn and I met, and if you watch the videos from the beginning, <laughs> you'll see that we met, she moved, like, across the country, moving with me. Three days after moving in, uh, I took her to the motocross track because I was riding all the time then. And I was riding the best I'd ridden in my entire life. I was Southern California, you can ride every day. All the tracks were open. And I said, hey, you know, watch this session. I was trying to show off for her. So I'm, I was like, I'm going to go out there one more time. Well, if you ride motocross, you, you do know that you never say, I'm going to go out there just one more time because it's always bad. So I went on the track. Long story short. short. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, whatever. Long story you, short. Is that the right terminology? Should I correct you? Uh -huh. Okay. Long story short. You're, you're from Maryland. Cause my, cause Are we I'm done? <laughs> okay. Are we done? Okay. Long story short, I went out. Someone left, like before I even got to her, somebody had crashed over a tabletop, over a jump. And I went over the jump. Could, there was nowhere for me to go. And I hit the bike and I lawn darted straight in the dirt. And like, you know, I was all broke. I broke my collarbone, broke three ribs, broke my foot, all this stuff. So the first week that we were together, instead of like, you know, partying and just hanging out, she spent time taking care of me in bed, washing my armpit. If you've ever broken your collarbone, you know, I mean, broke it straight in half, Aww. shattered it. So you know that you can't lift your arm and the, the, whatever happens under the, your armpit, it's foul. So she'd be in the shower with me and scrubbing my armpit. And oh it, was, it was disgusting. I don't even describe to you. It was so bad. <laughs> it, was it was so bad. bad. So I got, I was getting sponge bath. I thought it was great. I'm Actually, sure no, I was in a lot of pain. It was, it was terrible. Oh my gosh. We are on the way to the Miami Boat Show right now. We're driving. Um, pretty excited. And we've been looking forward to this. I'm on my phone talking to everybody, so that's exciting. Uh, we're all going to meet up tomorrow, and tonight we meet Miss Lone Star Travels, the whole crew. Oh, is this us? What's up? And actually, we're staying in the same hotel, which is awesome. We're going to have some drinks. Maybe there's a bar there. I know we're going to meet up in one of the, our Patreon's rooms and um, talk about tomorrow. And then we get to see lots of sailboats meet everybody. Very stoked and we've been looking forward to this moment. 
thank you to our friends, Lyle, Cheryl, and Trace for setting up our weekend with them and the Miss Lone Star Travels crew. Oh, there's a big dog. We had such an amazing time getting to know the Miss Lone Star crew along with some of our biggest supporters, Lyle, Cheryl, and Trace. We are definitely looking forward to our future plans with all of them out on the open waters. This fabulous karaoke singer really tore it up when it came to some salsa dancing. He just got us all in the mood to let loose and have some much needed adult fun. Unfortunately, we did not find the right AC unit for our new little home and are currently still on the hunt for what will be a lifesaver for our little bulldogs. But we were able to get a sweet deal on some Maui polarized sunglasses and I really enjoyed talking to these two beautiful ladies. So right now I am looking at Maui sunglasses. I need a new pair of Polaroid sunglasses. I have these two lovely ladies helping me. Uh, they wanted to say hi. Hi! They're, I'm just giving them the DL on what we're doing and um, the whole process. They were interested and I am going to try to hook up with Maui for a partnership. So they were helping me pick out some sunglasses. I ended up with those two and I will let you know how they are. to head over to the meet and greet that we had been planning for so long and we were beyond eager to meet all of our new friends and put a face to their names. We had such a wonderful time at the meet and greet meeting all the people that share in and support our dream. The sailing community may be small but they sure do have big hearts. 
We were overwhelmed with gratitude when the Montgomery family presented us with all sorts of boat goody gifts. We felt so blessed to surround ourselves with such wonderful people. Thank you to all those that came out to get to know us and giving us the honor to hear your story. Also, a huge thank you to El Woods Gastro Pub located in Miami for hosting our meet and greet. They couldn't have been more professional. Oh, is this us? What's up? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, it says Mommy's first mate. Can you hold a video camera? Are you sure? Can? Yes. Oh, we can put a GoPro like headband on you. In there. Oh, yeah. You know right where to look, huh? Oh, yeah. Mobers. <laughs> oh, booby oh, time! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it was wonderful. We had a great time. Great turnout. Really great turnout. Oh yeah. What was your highlight of the day? Mine hasn't happened yet. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna be like. <laughs> I know too, right? Yeah. The highlight was on the me. Yeah, it was the fans. Fans, we love you. You were our highlight. The story. Where everybody traveled from. That was great. Oh, that was really cool. That was touching. Do people really come to see us so far? I guess so. No. Hello. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Miss Lone Star Travels. Our stay at the Residence Inn Hotel, located near Miami Airport, was sponsored by Dr. Greg, the owner of Axis Chiropractic, located in Tampa, Florida and Jim and Terry Sweezy, who operate the Woods RV and Park Model Resort located in Lando Lakes, Florida. It was now time to get back to business and make my galley workable for me. I am currently working on piecing together my kitchen. First, I take everything out to clean it and organize. Then I bring all the lucky little items that made the cut back into my ladies galley. Today I brought all the kitchen stuff back. I originally took it all out, brought it home, cleaned it really, really good, um, and then I just kind of pieced together what I wanted for now until I can upgrade to, you know, like a boat pot and pan set and bowls that maybe collapse and go bigger. So I just got done putting it all back in and it all fits so far except for some new teal bowls that I got. They don't fit. <laughs> I'm a little sad. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to find a new spot for those. Anyway, I, I'm kind of just like working it out and trying to figure out some ways that we could save space. I think we're gonna buy some, or we already brought, bought some, sorry. Uh, metal bars to mount right here. They're magnetic so magnetic so the knives can go. Up here we actually got two to reinforce it to ensure that they will not come off. And then I also bought a metal sheet and some spice rack or some spice bottles with magnets to put over here so we can save space. And I'm going to put my silverware on the other side of this door and buy kind of come up with something that can go along here and hang up top in little pockets so I can put the silverware in to try to save space so I don't have to put it down here. I'd like this drawer for like my, I don't know, things that are shaped kind of funny like scissors and can opener and that type of thing. I only have one of these drawers so I really want to use it wisely. Also another Thing that we are going to do is add maybe on the other side of this some hooks to hook on like my spatula and those type of big spoons that you use for cooking. So right now we're really just brainstorming different ways that we can save space. Uh, these I've left pretty empty. Right now they're just kind of storing the knives that'll go up here. Um, so I can use all these for food. I'd like to use all this space to store food. Um, that one kind of has like cups and Tupperware back there, but I'd like these two solely for food so I don't have to use the rest of the boat. Like I said in previous videos, I like to keep everything where it belongs, so I don't like to put kitchen or food way back in the new berth. 
you know, if I could kind of stay away from that, that would make me very happy. I'm a little OCD when it comes to organization. And that's really it right now. Hi. What are you doing? Next time on The Lazy Geckos. You continue to get to know us on a more personal level, and we get down and dirty with our finances. So if you want to know how we are able to do this, then make sure you tune in. Gracias to Bert, who offered great tips on how to create better videos and donated into our video equipment fund via PayPal. We would like to welcome Alan into our Patreon family. It was such a pleasure to get to know you at the meet and greet. Oh, but wait. We're now also releasing uncensored versions of this and all the other Lazy Gecko videos. To view them, just visit us on Vimeo at Lazy Gecko Sailing to see all the crazy action.